everyone, this is Dave with davidspassage.com and uh, I wanted to come to you with a quick video on something I picked up that uh, has been really useful to me and just thought I'd pass it along uh, and that's lashing tripods with paracord. Now, I kind of made one up here. This is sort of a, a, a you know a small scale model of what this can be used for but you kind of get the gist of it. You know, these this is just uh, a few dowel rods and some paracord and uh, I want to show you how to do this because I find that you know these can be really really helpful whenever you're camping when you're backpacking that sort of thing because tr uh, tripods are just incredibly strong incredibly useful for so many things I mean you get them big enough you can you can use them to hang stuff over your fire you can use them to hang heavy objects with off the ground um, you know you get small ones like this you build a few of them up and you can actually build you know frames for other things because they're incredibly strong uh, once you know if you build them right so I'm gonna go through and show you how to do this uh, on a small scale and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did it on a larger scale and just get, show you a little bit of how strong these things can actually be Okay, so first of all to make a tripod you know you want three poles of, of equal size um, you don't want your poles to be uh, you don't want your poles to be different sizes although you know if you remember in geometry class you know three points make a plane um, and I guess there might be some use for an awkward tripod but for this case you know you want your poles to be the same length and we're just gonna start the first pole we're gonna put what's called a clove hitch on that I'm gonna show you how to do that up close okay so to start out here we're gonna do what's called a clove hitch now in order to do a clove hitch what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually bring the string around and make an X okay with the string here's my tag end coming around making an X I'm gonna bring it through again bring it around again rather and I'm gonna pass that end underneath that X you can see that okay so there's my X and there's that tag end coming right back around through now my paracord I like to put a you know if I cut it I like to put a knot um, I like to put a knot in the end there so that you know this unraveling um, doesn't get too far but you can kind of see that again there's my X there's the paracord coming back around through that that's what's called a clove hitch tighten that up make sure you can pull that tight it's one of those knots that uh, that holds up pretty well but but um, you know will come undone when you need it to also also so now that I've got my clove hitch Okay. Now that I've got my clove hitch, I'm going to go ahead and take my other three pieces of, of pole or rod in this case. I'm going to take that piece of paracord and I'm going to start to wrap it under and over and under, you know, over, under, over. I'm going to bring those each one of those windings down to where I want them. I'm going to keep doing that for several times. Each time bringing that wrapping down. Now depending on what you need this for, you know, kind of determines how many times you wrap this. But, um, you know, you, I don't really think you can wrap it too much um, just because the more times you wrap it, the more strength you're going to have in it. And with 550 paracord, you know, you're looking at if each wrap holds a little less, well, it'll be less than 500 pounds, but um, you start building up those wraps and it, it adds up quick. Okay. So now that I've got a bunch of wraps on here, let's come around. Make sure those are nice and tight and up together. Now what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to take my tag in or what's left of my paracord and start to wrap around those lashings just like so. And as you can see if I pull tight that's going to pull all that paracord up. It's going to bunch it up. I'm going to pull those tight so those so those joints are really tightly knit together and they're really, or those lashings are held really tightly together. I like to do that a few times there. Now bring it over the other side. Do the same thing. Now 
You can do this with bamboo too. I mean, people make decorative tripods like this um, for their homes. But, okay. Now, now that I've got it wrapped, I've got the lashings done. I've got the lashings wrapped pretty tight there. What I'm going to do now is just finish it off. Take this tag in. And I, you can finish it a few ways. Um, a lot of people like to finish it with an extra clove hitch, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Make my X. Bring my tag end around. And uh, pass it under my X here. Tighten that down. Now when it's done, any uh, extra paracord that you have, you can go ahead and cut right off. Um, again, once you cut it off, I suggest put a little knot in it. Otherwise, what happens is that the paracord tends to fray like that. But um, put a little knot in it and then just spread the legs out like in a tripod fashion. And there you go. thing is super, super strong. Um, you know, I've seen people use this sort of technique to make wilderness chairs. Um, I've seen some people use this technique to make um, wilderness seats, you know, just depending on how high the poles are. Again, you know, you could take a pole, if you built four of these, you could take, um, you know, poles and uh, put them in here, suspend them off the ground and uh, make sort of a, a bed that's off the ground. If you, you get two poles going this way, you know, on uh, four sides, then some lattice, some uh, some cover, boughs, whatever, to soften up, make a mattress, natural mattress, and that thing, that thing will hold. Um, that's what a you know a size like this would be perfect for. But um, I made some in my backyard here. I'm going to show you that um, are pretty strong, and they don't look like they they're pretty strong, but they are. I'm going to just uh, give you a little show, a demonstration of how strong these things actually are. So here's an example of a couple that I've um, just sort of strewn together in the backyard using taller poles. And uh, same same principle, 550 paracord. Um, you can kind of see, you know, you could use this for shelter building also. Um, these things are very, very strong. And uh, just to give you a little bit of an idea, I'm going to go ahead and hang for myself from that one and kind of show you. You can see I'm a big guy, uh, about 250 pounds, and I mean those things are only about an inch and a half thick, those poles. So again, just an extremely strong way to make a, something in the wilderness. You can use it just paracord, and it doesn't take much to make it, and it is extremely useful. Extremely useful. My, my neighborhood buddy Alec was over, and when he saw me do that, he thought for sure I was going to fall on my butt. but. <laughs> I had to prove them wrong <laughs> because those things are really strong. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, I really appreciate your subscriptions, your views. Um, appreciate your likes on Twitter or Facebook or whatever's going on there. But uh, be sure to stay tuned and subscribe to my channel for more things that I pick up just as I'm learning stuff. A lot of you guys are learning stuff and, and I just love passing on stuff that I'm learning. So really appreciate the YouTube community because a lot of this stuff I just pick up even from um, just <laughs> stumbling upon things that are already on there and, and that's just really helpful so if you you know one thing I would love to hear if you have ever um, if you have a use for these things you know I mentioned cooking um, I, I mentioned making beds off the ground in sort of primitive camping situations um, you saw me hang from there you could hang a deer from that um, but if you've used one of these in a situation that I didn't mention, I'd love to hear about it. Just let me know in the comments or if you have any ideas about how to use them. Um, it'd be really cool to get some ideas going in terms of, you know, what we can use these things for. Because, man, that's just an extremely simple skill um, to lash those together. And they are extremely strong and extremely useful. Again, this is David from davidspassage.com. Thank you for watching and we'll see you outdoors.